Hi, morning guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, what I'm up to today, uh, I'm um, installing some lithium, or a lithium battery, uh, onto a, an Aqualion narrowboat, Madison, I think. So we're getting rid of these lead acids that uh, have pretty much gone and were very unhappy a few weeks ago. Fitting a, a large lithium, I can't remember what size it is, 260 amp hour, something like we've seen it in a minute. Um, and we put in, li li put in a brand new buffer battery in with a Sterling B2B 120 amp between them. So fair bit of work today, but it shouldn't be too bad. Not, not, not expecting, I shouldn't say that. I know better than that. So right, let's crack on. Uh, you might know these folks, you might not, but I'll put a link to their channel below and there uh, we'll catch up with them in a bit. So, okay, I've just been reliably informed. It's narrowboat Pura Vida, which is Puerto Rican? Costa Rican. Costa Rican. It's all the same to me. It's all South African. No, it's even South American to me. Right, anyway, <laughs> I'll put a link to their channel below. You might see them pop up a few times on the video. But first things first, let's get these old batteries out. Uh, I'm going to insulate the battery box. But anyway, I'm not going to tell you what I'm going to do. Let's see what I'm going to do. There's the current battery setup. Just some bog standard uh, lead acids, sealed lead acids. We're going to whip them out, get a buffer battery either there or, or there, I'm not sure. Uh, and the, the lithium is going to sit uh, beside that and the book boost will uh, need a home somewhere, which I've got to figure out yet. But it's not raining today, which is good. So right there out, um, I've lost my knife. Okay, so um, this battery, you'll see it in a minute. Um, it's not one I've used before, it's customer supplied. Um, it's heated, which is great because it's going in the engine bay. But just to help it along a little bit, um, I'm gonna use some insulation. Uh, in the battery box, underneath and around, just to try and keep any sort of heat that might be this in the battery um, and take, take the pressure off the heater a little bit. So this is just, here's this before, it's just under floor insulation. Um, you can light multi, you know, put it down in layers. So, let me see that. There's four layers there that should just sit in the battery box and just help keep that battery warm. Let's have a look, see if that fits. Oh, I just need to take a bit off now. That just sits there in the base. And I'm just gonna put some across the back and up the sides. So my view, I think, is you can put some on the front of the batteries as well, and the tops and all that sort of stuff. How big is that? How big is the hey? How heavy is the Oh, if an AGM, that would be 50, 60 kilos, that. For our size? Yeah, that, that, that size. No, but the, the, yeah, the little size. Oh, the little ones? Um, 10, 15, maybe. Get out of the cupboard to make it a bit easier, but I said it wasn't actually that bad getting it out. No. Just getting it in with <laughs> Definitely don't need the gym, do you? <laughs> no, I've picked a lot of batteries up this year. Or well, this week, sorry. This week? Right. Yeah, yeah. Is it season? Seems to be. Don't know why. Yeah, it seems to this be. This is a new one for me. Fogstar. It's Fogstar Drift. It's a new one. 460 amp hour, uh, lithium iron. Yeah, Bluetooth, heating, and BMS. So yeah, I've seen these guys. They're up in. Are they up in Redditch? No, Redditch yes. or Redditch, I think. Yeah, we up together. yeah so uh, might have a look into these guys a little bit more. But let's get that in there. Right. So the plan is now to wire up everything. 
obviously, <laughs> uh, except the alternator to battery stuff. Um, that gets all the charging circuits all up and working, all coupled up, loads all working. Um, and I can do the alternator last. That makes sense. So, uh, yeah, all these crimps are obviously just wrong. Six mil, six mil crimps. It's 95 mil cable, so I can use that. Um, just got to change the crimps on the end. And uh, yeah, let's get all this wired up, get the solar on. Um, yeah, shouldn't be too bad actually. So that's the new crimp terminal. For the 12 volt supply, it's gonna go on here. I'm sort of lucky it's an Aqualion because there's one big 12 volt cable that goes all the way through into the control cabinet, whereas some battery packs you see, there's like a whole nest on top, so it makes it a bit awkward, but uh, this is pretty straightforward, really. Um, just the crimps are all wrong, because they're all six mil, six mil crimps, and I want eight for these cables, so that's a little bit of a thing, but anyway. If that's all there is today, I'll be happy boy. All right, that's the lows connected. Uh, you can see I've changed the, uh, the bolts, the screws on the uh, terminals, because always the ones they give you are no way big enough. So, and you can't get these washers off because they're pressed on, so. So anyway, st yeah, stainless steel, stainless steel washer, stainless steel spring washer. So that's the loads connected and the charging circuits connected apart from alternator. Now on the um, Aqualines, the alternator cable goes off and goes up to the one of the contactors. So I've got to fetch that fetch that back. So I don't want that going straight onto there. That's what this this buffer battery is for here. Right, there's the uh, Sterling book boost. So basically, V in, wasp, get out. Um, v in comes from the auxiliary battery or the buffer battery not the starter, the buffer battery. Negative also comes from that battery. Then the output, V out, goes over then to the lithium. And there'll be a fuse on this side and a fuse on this side too. So two fuses. Uh, and there's a te also a temperature sensor there as well. And of course you can set this off for lithium. So it's just finding a place to put this because um, it does need some airflow uh and it would it would have been really nice if i could have just made a bracket and stuck it in there but i'm a bit concerned it might get a little bit warm when manufacturers specs say it needs to be that way but it would have been quite nice and really handy to pop it in there so i might just revisit that but i, I think i've got and it would be protected from the weather a little bit as well so but yeah, there's not a lot of airflow there. I mean, there is there is air where the cables come through uh, both ends. So there is a there is airflow through there. Decisions, decisions. <laughs> right. Right, I uh, checked on the MIs. Yes, we can mount that horizontally. That's all fine. Is where we are so far. Battery two, which will be the lithium. Uh, battery one, which will be the buffer battery. And then I've got to put the negatives up as well. Uh, I've got to put a board across the back of there to go into the base. So I mount all this properly. I'm just wiring it up now so I can get it all working. Um, you yeah, not too bad really. Uh, the biggest thing is, like I say, this alternate cable that disappears into the main cabinet. I've got to fish that out. Shouldn't be too bad. So with my glamorous assistant, oh, oh no, sorry Lee. Um, we've just been pulling these cables around. Um, and it goes on to this uh, contact here, which I thought it was one of them. The Aqualine are the only ones that do this, that I know too. Um, yeah, but that's the alternator charging straight to there. Seems, I know it keeps the batteries clean, but it seems to be bonkers to run a cable all the way from the alternator to inside here, when the battery's all over there. But hey, hey ho, who more to argue? All right, let's get that disconnect and I'll pull that through.
batteries are dead. Right, that's finished on the uh, narrowboat Pura Vida. Did I get that right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, the fuse is all screwed in, making sure that those screw points haven't gone through the buffalo board. So that's now st that, that block of wood that goes across, that's actually holding the batteries in place as well. They can't move anywhere, which is all good for boat safety. Uh, two fuses, alternators all connected, all tested and working. So, uh, yeah, happy days, really. So that's a wrap on uh, Narrowboat Pura Vida. The second to... Vida! <laughs> I'm going to say second time. Pura Vida. Oh, I, I... Anyway, they're on YouTube, so check them out. They're, um, they're fairly new, but they're growing pretty well. So, uh, yeah, check them out. Give them a like and a subscribe and all that sort of stuff. I know you can do it. Just take the time. Pura Vida. 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 Vader sounds better, sounds darker. Anyway, Pura Vida, sorry, um, I'm from the black country, what did I know? Pura Vida, twice I've got it right. Um, that's all finished now, all tested, all working. Um, the, the only thing we noticed, well, we're on testing with the alternator, is uh, the engine speed needs to be up a little bit to get the voltage higher than 3.5, 13.5, so that book boost actually kicks in. So a little bit of revs to keep that and you find that actually on a lot of alternators people have their engines running for hours and hours on tick over the alternators are hardly doing a damn thing so anyway uh, and this is this is just the case so um there's enough ventilation in there for that uh, for that book boost pretty sure the only thing i've got left to do but you've seen it before i think is i've got to configure the um the multiplus just switch that over from 
uh, lead acids to uh, to um, lithiums and the correct voltage uh, for this particular battery. So that won't take me long. I'll just plug that in. But for now, it's goodbye from Pure Vida. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. Um, check out Lee and Cat on their on their YouTube channel, um, cruising all the network and doing all the stuff they do. Uh, both pilots, which is and they do some of that stuff as well, which is really interesting. Um, must get out there with them at some point. But he was talking to me about flying upside down and and also, and I was like, not fan of that. Anyway, see you next time, guys. Uh, and I hope that you found that interesting. Um, a slightly different way than I've done it before. Uh, only because it's got that buffer battery and generally I um, I connect in, I use the starter as a buffer but in this case, it, the way they wire the acrolines, it's much easier to do it this way and there's no harm in it, it's perfectly perfectly normal, perf perfectly safe, perfectly operational, all that sort of stuff. Right, see you next time. Bye.